Greetings folks, I've been playing with my Atom RC Swordfish lately and absolutely loving flying it. It is my favourite and my most efficient FPV plane. I've added a DJI air unit there on a panning servo that's 180 degree panning. It's a Turnigy 1800, TGY 1800, 180 degree servo. I've reflashed the Atom RC F405 uh, Nav E flight control board um, and toned down the rates uh, done a little bit of tweaking which I'll show you uh, in the configurator. I've also added the little finlets on the tail. I think they work quite well. I think they do add a little bit of stability but it wasn't really a problem to start off with so add them, leave them off, doesn't really matter I don't think. I'm using Express LRS now, I have a little uh, Express LRS receiver there and that's made it into a very capable medium long range FPV plane. 18650 uh, 4S. So I'll show you in closer detail how I fitted the uh, air unit there. So I've just uh, dug a, a little hole and, and uh, glued the servo in there. Uh, I haven't used the provided cover or anything like that. I wanted sort of maximum uh, airflow over the air unit there. So this just sort of sits in there. Uh, and it's, it's held up a little bit by a, bit, a couple of bits of foam there on a plywood plate. I've just glued in a couple of little support rods there, the fiberglass or carbon fiber, and taped the antennas onto those rods. And that sort of locates the air unit on the cradle, so to speak. Wires just run down through here underneath. And that is just a, a little Velcro strap in there just to hold that in place. So I can get access to the SD card and uh, USB slot and all that sort of stuff. And the servo cable and the uh, UART cable and power cable just sort of run down underneath to the flight control board down below. Flip it over and have a look underneath. It's a real rat's nest of wires there. Uh, Express LRS just sitting on the outside of the uh, fuselage there because oh, that's how long the wires were basically uh, and the rest of it is yeah just all connected in there. I'll show you in the configurator now how uh, I set up the panning servo and the, the new uh, PIDs and rates and things like that. Now the VTAIL mix I've settled on is 90-30 so it's 90 for elevator and 30 for rudder. 30 is enough to give you sort of nice smooth turns in uh, cruise mode which is all I use it for anyway so uh, that seems to be a good mix. Now this is the pan servo channel I've just added another servo mix line change the input to channel 10 100 percent and you can choose uh, plus or minus if you want to there to reverse the direction of travel. Ports I have uh, ELRS on UART2, uh, GPS on UART3 and the and if you use the little supplied socket and wiring for the air unit yeah, it ends up on UART5 so I've just chosen the DJI video transmitter on UART5 and that provides 9 volts in that uh, voltage to power the air unit. I've been playing with the current meter scale, uh, 342 is pretty accurate now. Pit games, I've left them at stock, haven't done uh, an auto tune or anything like that, it really doesn't seem to need it, but this is the, the new rates, which are the stock rates of a plane with a V-tail, also coincide with the latest CLI suggestions by Atom RC2. I have four degrees of nose up trim. I've set my cruise throttle percentage to 1320, trying to keep it as, as low as I can, but have it, still have a nice 3 to 4 amp cruise current, and that is working very nicely. And the receiver, I've changed that back to Crossfire from SBUS. I've set up the modes the way I like them. I do have auto tune available. I haven't done an auto tune, I, I will eventually, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it's flying at the moment. I changed the GPS to a BN880. Uh, because the supplied BN220 was taking ages to find satellites, but this 880 is much, much quicker. And the DJI OSD, I haven't 
flash to the WTF OSD or software or firmware or whatever it is. So I haven't felt felt the need. When I'm flying with the DJI HD goggles, I want very little on the screen because I want to enjoy the flying experience more than uh, look at all the rubbish on the screen. screen. And the existing iNav OSD information is enough for me. I am using the craft name for warnings and throttle percentage and total distance, which is a nice little mod you can do. And if we go to the CLI, you can see now the align board pitch is negative 1800. It was negative, negative 1750 from the factory. So that's an adjustment there. And uh, there's my meter scale there. And, and my fixed wing level pitch trim equals four degrees there to give a little bit of nose up for level flight. So that's about all I need to show you here. Uh, let's have a look at some of the nice flight footage I've captured and uh, love the panning out to the side looking over the wing. It's a great view, it's a great plane, really, really efficient. Cruise current, three amps, three and a half amps, four amps, just to be safe. I was flying in quite a bit of wind yesterday when I captured this footage and uh, it was just smooth, stable. Uh, no sign of stalling or tip stalling or anything like that. Great plane, really enjoy it. Thanks for watching.